Like, this is a vibe. This is really a vibe. I'm sorry. I did, I did that. But yeah, this is a cute option. I'm actually proud of myself because I didn't know what I was going to do with this. I put this together just, just now. I just, I just don't want to leave you. I just, I just don't want to leave Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl B, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a try on haul of Zara. It's been a while since my last Zara haul. I said I wasn't gonna do it for a minute, and I think it's been like six months or maybe like four months. It's probably been like four months since my last Zara haul, so I'm proud of myself. But I walked into Zara, and their fall collection just looked so good so I grabbed some key pieces and I wanted to try it on with you all so you guys could see what I got and also I'm gonna try to style some of the pieces in this video give you guys a variety of ways that I see myself styling these pieces so you get a little bit of you know styling and a little bit of trying on haul and just overall seeing what you could do with some Zara pieces before we jump into that I want to say if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button I promise you love it here I have so much great content you'll enjoy and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back gang and yeah let's jump into it all right y'all so first up we have this t-shirt um, it's just a basic cropped tee that I got from Zara. It was only 10 bucks. I was like, might as well. Mm, do you need it? No, but it's a cool neutral color. And then I paired it with these jeans. Now these jeans, now these jeans I absolutely love. Oh my gosh. Do you see it? Obviously I gotta get it taken in on the waist because your girl got a small waist now. And go me. But these jeans are so cute i think they remind me of the are they the margella jeans um with like the cutout um on the leg where it's not a cutout but it's like a deep cargo pocket so i love that i love the fit of it throughout my thigh and my hip um the length is amazing it's really long and i just find this to be a very flattering pair of jeans i don't know normally zara jeans are like meh but these jeans fit so good and I just really love the size I love the cut of it and I love the wash of these denim jeans it's like a blue with undertones of yellow so like that dusty um denim look going on which pairs perfectly with this neutral tee um the jeans I got in a size 10 or a 42 so what I'm going to do is show you guys how I would style this I would definitely throw these on with a pair of sneakers I got these Nike blazers I think they're super super cute and it matches this look perfectly so here's how I will pair these jeans and this top in the event that I had to go run errands or if I was just going to class something super super casual I got on the Nike blazers, this cute little duster jacket that I got from Zara many moons ago. And yeah, it's it's a vibe. It's a neutral fall vibe. And I'm digging it. I actually might wear this this week. I will probably throw this on with a tote or a mini bag depending on, again, what I needed to do. But yeah, I think these jeans are everything. Now this is the second option in case, you know, it's a little bit more brisk outside and I need something a little bit more heavier. We have this cropped puffer jacket and I think this too goes perfectly with these jeans. I think the warmness of the jeans are brought out with this light cream colored puffer. Um, and it just makes it real chill, real chill, real Brooklyn-y. We love our puffer jacket and this is what it looks like. Two. Let me know which one you prefer for a chill day. I'm low-key feeling this one. I'm low-key feeling this one a little bit more. But y'all let me know down in the comments. And now I'm going to show you guys how I would dress up these jeans. So then to dress it up, I would pair with this shimmer mesh top that I got from Zara. Uh, check down in the description box. I'll link it. And then we have the silver bag, the silver shoes. And I think this is a vibe i actually need somewhere to go so i could wear this i think this is super cute let me turn around this top is a little tight i got it in a size medium i wish i would have got a large um but i also feel like it'll stretch out after one wear i think this is a dope outfit i just love the shimmer i love the silver and i love this 
let me know what you guys think about this look i 10 out of 10 love this look it's given renaissance even though renaissance is officially over i would wear this to the theater when the documentary comes out like this is a vibe this is really a vibe i'm sorry i did i did that tell me what you guys think about this and i'll grab the next item so here we have the second look that's a little bit more dressier less casual and i think this is super cute so now i'm pairing it with this uh cropped satin like blouse and these uh snakeskin booties and this brandon blackwood bucket bag and i think this is perfect for the fall like i love this the top i got in a size medium i think it fits really well i mean it is wrinkled but pretend that it's not wrinkled and really see the vision these these jeans are so versatile so let me know which one of the dressed up options is your favorite i'm actually feeling them both so in the other look that i gave you guys that was like perfect for like concert show um renaissance opening movie night but then this look i think is more so appropriate for a cute little dinner date with your girls or your boo um whoever and or a cute day in the city a nighttime in the city type of vibe like i really think this is really cute this brandon blackwood bucket bag i'm so happy i got this bag like this is the perfect fall bag again we're in the neutrals of the season and it looks really good the jeans complement this blouse um and then the shoes tie the blouse the bag and the jeans together okay y'all so next up we have this set obviously it's sold separately because Zara doesn't do you know package sets so we have this cute high neck short sleeve top and then these cute little relaxed trouser pants it's very light in material the top is in a medium way too tight the sleeves like the body is tight but it's bearable these sleeves are cutting into my underarm like it's very uncomfortable um so the top runs small for medium but then the bottoms run accurate um the medium of the pants fit well now these come a little high my feet are ashy excuse that these pants come a little high um but i'm not mad at it so for a casual day how i would style this so for a casual day we got the the trusty leather jacket we love this in the fall paired it back with the blazers and i think this is a super cute casual calm day fit i actually really like this i'm surprised i like it so much and i think these pants look perfect with these sneakers as is so i think these are perfect for a high top shoe um nah i really I really am a fan of this look. Um, I have to make sure that they have the top in a large. But this is the casual look. Again, you're ready to run errands. You're ready to go to class. You're ready to have a brunch day, a weekend brunch. Chill with your girls. Chill with your, you know, your homeboys, whoever. And just look super cute while you do it. And to dress up this set, I decided to pair it with this navy plaid overthrow jacket my red brandon blackwood bag and then these red booties that i have for so many years and only wore once but it, it came in handy for this little look right here now the red is a little off but if you don't pay too much attention to it it's not that bad like it's durable and i think the light shining on me right now is making it a lot more uh, noticeable that it's a difference but regularly like you won't be able to tell so i think this is a cute option to dress it up it can be like a cool chill but dress up type of situation so again dinner uh date at the museum um church like you have options where you could wear this i mean i know it's cropped but you know pull it down you know you're good for church i think this is a cute option i'm actually proud of myself because i didn't know what i was going to do with this i put this together just just now so yeah we like this let me know if you guys think this dressed up um alternative to this set is cute or do you just prefer to keep it as a casual set and wear it casual places but i like it 
I actually really like it. Alright. Okay, y'all. So next up, we have these pants, which is kind of like a linen pants. They are wide leg and i think this is super cute it's denim so it's like a fun play on jean material without actually being denim which i love and then i just paired it with this lime green poncho that i got which was on sale period so if it's still available i'll link it down below but i think this is a cute fall day type of outfit i feel like if the day is a little bit more of a breezy day i would throw on like a t-shirt a long sleeve t-shirt under it or a turtleneck under it and i'll be good to go i feel like linen style pants or pleated wide leg pants are perfect for the fall you can pair it with booties or sneakers and i think it's very on brand for this season and i love it now this green could definitely be transitional into spring but i just love the earthy tone of it for the fall like i'm really feeling it and just so you guys know the pants i got in a size medium it's kind of tight on the waist um, but it fits really good in the bumsy area and the thighs so i feel like a large would be too big the story of my life i'm literally in between sizes right now and it's annoying me but it's not horrible okay, yeah so to dress this one up we put it back with this cropped satin top and then throw on some brown booties and here we go we're ready to again go to brunch go to dinner i like these pants i'll link them down below and i really feel like they're transitional and it's a little bit dress casual and i just think it's so cute again i love the fact that it's a denim style without actually being true denim but yeah cute let me know what you think about these pants and do you prefer the casual style or the more dress casual style you okay, guys so next up we have this romper and i fell in love with this romper when i laid eyes on it it is so chic so fashion forward um so it's a two-top romper um full length and then it has like the kind of wrap that goes over the front so it gives it you know that slit by the leg which i think is so cute super edgy which i love 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 and then in the back is just simple and plain and then i do like the fact that it comes in a navy color i'm trying to you know keep it fall but keep it a little different i have a lot of browns and nudes and blacks and grays so i wanted something to kind of break that up and i think this navy romper is perfect now i got it in a size large and it is a little big when you look at the tube top part, you can see that the elastic band around the top is big um, for me. And then also it's a lot of material around the hip and then the waist. But I feel like that could be taken in as well because the medium was just way too tight. Like this is full length on me. The medium were high waters. And, you know, I thought that was the look that they were going for until I tried on the lodge and I was like, mm, no. But I feel like, again, I would need to get it taken in just about this much. I think this would be the perfect fit for me. But I have so many ideas for how I want to dress this particular romper. That's what made me so excited to get it. The minute I laid eyes on it, I was like, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. So I'm going to show you guys. This look doesn't necessarily have a dress down option because... I don't know I, this this is just an elevated item altogether so it's kind of impossible to dress it down but i'll show you guys so first casual look is paired it with this high neck that i showed you that was part of the casual set and then these uh navy pumps that i have and i think it looks really cute um preferably if i really wanted to dress it down i would probably do like black booties but i don't have any so that is definitely on my list of things to get for the fall but i think it's super casual i think this high neck crop top kind of makes it more casual because it's like a gray um it's very simple it's very chic and it's not too much going on so i love that and i feel like i can wear this to work again it's not really casual per se but it is definitely more of a dress down alternative. We have it with this top, which you've seen already. I'm gonna pair it with this top and then some brown booties um, to make it a little bit more of a warmer look. 
I think this is super cute. I feel like I could add a belt, but I wouldn't want to. That's too many layers for me, personally. But I think this casual style tee actually really makes this a casual fit. Um, the brown boots, I think this also makes it casual because it's like that rustic brown I have going on. And yeah, I could potentially do this. I could see myself doing this. I actually like this. I do. Um, so this is the second way that I would make this more of a casual fit. But now let's get into what really the looks I was really seeing for this one. So in case you haven't noticed, I'm repurposing everything in this haul. So we have this shimmer mesh top again with this uh, romper and then I paired it with, I couldn't decide. I didn't know if I wanted to do the navy heel with the Rebecca Winkle bag or the silver heel. Probably not with this bag, um, maybe a more subtle silver bag. But I don't know, I'm kind of really digging the navy vibes and how it ties the shoes and the top together it may be a little bit much for some people but i don't know i think it's perfect you guys let me know down in the comments which one you prefer or is this just doing too much but i really like this i think this is this is cute and it's it's subtle glam because we have the solid navy with just a hint of shimmer and and metallic going on so yeah i i like this i this was one of the things i was excited for um let me go grab the other okay y'all and then this one i was super excited for i think this is so cute mm -hmm. the black with the rhinestones with the navy so i have on the silver pump for the purpose of this video, I put these two together, but I think in actuality, I would do a black strappy shoe. Only because, I don't know, it'll elevate it to me. But yeah, I absolutely love. Okay, y'all, so next up, I have it paired with this white blouse. And this is immediately where my mind went when I seen this romper, and it did not disappoint. This one I paired with silver bag silver shoes and I think it's like a clean chic I think it's like I'm that girl without having to do too much it's very simplistic the bag and the shoes is what really pop and then everything else is just clean cut and cute and I love that for me I love the fact that I could wear this romper in a multitude of ways I know when we say capsule collection we think of like the basic essentials that we could wear and restyle and repurpose time and time again and i feel like i've showed you three items in this video you could wear three different types of ways to three different types of events and still look good still look chic still look fashionable fashion forward and i love that if i had to go ahead and choose my favorite item i really couldn't i think the jeans were my absolute favorite casual wise this is more my favorite in the sense of dressing up and then i don't know I unexpectedly really 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 liked the gray set like with the with the blazers uh, like it just looks so good to me um so it was very underrated I didn't think I would like that one as much but I did I, I really did and even like transitioning it to more of a dress up type of scenario I didn't hate it I did not hate it so it's hard for me to pick a favorite but I want you guys to pick a favorite and let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Also, go down in the description box if you're interested in any of the items that I purchased. It will be linked down below. And finally, if you made it to the end of this video, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. You absolutely love it here. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And let me see you in my next video. Period. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.